everyone, we're doing another nail art video. Look at this beautiful blue. This is from my parrot polish, Baboon Blue it's called. And I'm going to put this color down on the nails and let it dry and then I'm going to kind of do an ombre effect with these other two blues that I have here but to get um, really what I want to achieve I find instead of sitting there and putting 18 coats of this stuff on to try to make it opaque with a sponge, if I put the blue down first, then the other colors go on very easy and I don't have to worry about opaquing that blue as much. I think on this one we might sponge a little bit different, but I will see when we get to that point. This stuff's almost got a little tiny bit of sparkle in it, which is kind of nice. It's just hard to, to see it, probably for you. But there is a little glaze. like, And it might have been nice to put a nice white down just to make it more blue, but I think it's such a pretty blue on its own. It doesn't always need to be just a bright blue. This is from their Brights collection, I believe. But I think this is going to be pretty good. So, we are going to be doing some stamping on top of this. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to be nice. And... Um... We're going to do some fairy action today. Just some silhouettes. I'm into the silhouettes and I'm into the ombre lately. I think because spring is coming, even though we're having a wicked snowstorm. So, I'm going to let these dry. Just finishing them off. I'm going to let them dry. Then I am going to start my ombre and I'll show you what I'm going to do when we get there and I'll be right back. Hello, I'm here. Okay, all I'm doing right now is taking some of my lighter color and dabbing it kind of in the middle area. To lighten up that area in the middle. And I'm going to do that a couple of times. Just to lighten it up. Okay, so now at this point, since I'm done with these, I'm going to get these out of the way. I want to do this one. Now this one is very um, translucent. So I have to use something to kind of help me lighten the area. So I'm going to use a tiny little bit of white. That's why I'm putting it on this little dabber here and kind of mixing it in with the blue that's already on there. And this is just going to lighten it up a little bit. Without making it go completely white. Oh, 
will be right. Okay, you gotta love it when packages come. So now I added that blue and then I added a little bit more white. Now I'm just coming in with my light pearlized blue color. So it's gonna cover that white a little bit and it won't be so opaque. It's just gonna be very pearly, like a pearly blue. which is really cool. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I do want to brighten it up a little bit. There. All right. And now at this point I want to let it dry and I want a top coat before I go in with my um, before I go in with my stamping just so that if I have any problems I can remove. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping. I want to do something a little bit different for each one. So I got this fairy's plate and this is from EYN, EY Nails, original brand number 11. Now a lot of these I found online or I looked for specific nail plates. I like a nail plate that's not always just run of the mill either. Like I like fancy nail plates. If I'm gonna do a nail plate, it's gonna be something that's, some are just normal nail plates, but others are more like, I try to do something more original and unusual because everyone can like do the lines and stuff like that. It's just a matter of, well, not everyone can, but. Okay, so now I wanna start picking ones that are different every time. I really love this one. And I really love this one, but this one's really big. So I don't know if I can fit it on there. It might be too much. So I might go for something more like this. Let's see this one. Oh, that one is so pretty. Oh yeah, love that. So, so pretty. It's nice to find some nice plates because when you got nice plates, you can do quite a bit. I also like this one with the long wing. So let's try that one. And even though you might not be able to fit it all, look at that, how beautiful is that? You can fit most of it and that's what matters. If you had something that just fit on your nail, like it's okay. But if you have something that's just in the middle, it's kind of boring all the time. It's nice to have something a little off center or a little different. It gives you some visual interest. I love this one where she's sitting on a, a little leaf. Oh, that one might not have come through very well. Let me see. No, it did. So let's try it again. I know I can get it. I think I just didn't put enough paint on. And then the way I scraped, sometimes that can have a big effect. There. That looks a lot better. There. Let's go for a nice big one in the middle. Look at that. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I'm telling you. 
it's nice when a nice nail art works. It really is. Um, I like this one where she's kind of crouching too. That might be good for a smaller one. that I thought, oh, I like that one. And now I'm not thinking. <laughs> Which one was I looking at? I don't know. Like this one. I think it was this one I was looking at. Now on this one, I do have a little bit of black here. I want to get that out of there. Is that a butterfly? Oh, that's butterflies, but this isn't. So, there. Okay. Let's see what other ones we got here. There's a little Tinkerbell over here. Not sure how well I like that one. I like this one. She's she's sitting. I think I like that one. Okay. No, I don't know how well it went. Oh, it did go. Good, let's go this one. Look at how gorgeous those are. Oi, I tell ya. Gotta love it, gotta love it. I get so excited about nails, it's ridiculous how excited I get. I like this one, but I love this one even more. It's like a little moon. She's sitting on a moon, and she's a lot smaller, but the moon is almost bigger. I'm going to try that one. Over here. Oh, so pretty. So very pretty. So I just have one left. So which one? Maybe. I think I did this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. No. Didn't. Maybe I'll do this one. Perfect. Perfecto. Where's the lid? There's the lid off my scraper. Okay, I want to cover that. Love it when a good nail art works. Look at that. How pretty. Now on these, I might even go put a little bit of white dots just to make it kind of look like stars or something in the background. I don't think I need black because, like, we have enough black. Maybe a little bit of white stars. So let's take a little bit of white paint, just a little tiny bit. We don't need a lot for this. I'm only going to put a couple. Just a couple. I don't want it too wet either. I might have put too much. 
start with the big one since I've got a big doll up on there now. Oh, look at that gorgeousness. So gorgeous. What I think I'll do is I'll take that off. I'm just going to hit it really light. Put one down in there. And you don't want to overdo it. You just want to add some. Just want to add some fun in there. Am I getting any color there? Little batches of like white stars around. Less is more. Boy, those are really gorgeous. Couple of stars under her butt. Looks like she pooped little white shards. <laughs> she did a doo doo. That's funny. <laughs> funny. Only me and my warped sense of humor would think of that. But yeah, I thought of it. <laughs> There. I think that's perfect. Look at that. Perfection. Perfection. Love it. Okay. So I'm going to let it dry really well now. And then I'm going to put top coat on. And then I'll give you a reveal shot. And I will see you next time. Bye. And there's our finished nails. That ombre looks awesome. I love how everything almost looks like moonlight in the background. And the fairies. Oh, gotta love it. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures and I will see you next time.